pictures were much better than the video. <laughs> yeah, especially the last couple of pictures there looked really nice. Yeah, those are cool. And I'm glad even folks in Gallup could take pictures of it too because clouds should have been a little bit more thick over there. Meanwhile, here's what we're looking at for your fall photos. Boy, isn't this beautiful Sandia Crest, all that color in there. So if you're looking for something to do, you can always check that out. Please keep uploading them to KWT.com, our U local section. Hey, here's that cloud cover we were expecting. So we got the cloud cover, the lower daytime highs. And for your balloon fiesta forecast in the morning for the Special Shapes Rodeo. I'm concerned about lingering showers from overnight showers and thunderstorms. Let's say we don't have that in the morning, then it looks favorable for flying, but I'll show you my concerns coming up here in just a bit. You see these showers? This is the first wave. It's not that big of a deal, just light activity around Santa Fe and Taos and Los Alamos, a lot of that not hitting the ground. But this is more significant throughout eastern portions of Arizona, pushing on into New Mexico eventually. Here's what the forecast model is showing you. Notice the showers and thunderstorms increasing. There's midnight. Okay, so that's one wave. Then another wave will be working on through. That's around 5 o'clock in the morning. So if that is true to be, and the fiesta starts at 7 o'clock in the morning, then there could be some problems. Look at the afternoon. I mean, showers and thunderstorms will be scattered across the area when they're trying to do the glodio, and it looks a little bit better Friday morning, Friday afternoon. There'll be more isolated showers. Showers and thunderstorms here, more of an organization throughout the northern mountains before the system kicks out and dries for the weekend. So, flying around, it's just going to be dry and hot southeastern parts of New Mexico. You get a brief cool down for the start of your weekend. Southwest will be showers and thunderstorms from the Gila northward, but places from Socorro down into Lordsburg and Deming, it looks to be rather dry here. Now, there will be some waves of showers and thunderstorms overnight through the day before it starts to dry the following day. The best opportunity for thunderstorms. Storms would be tomorrow afternoon. Much the same throughout to Santa Fe, Los Alamos, on into Taos. It's not going to be constant rain, showers in the morning, then a break, then scattered storms in the afternoon. A better opportunity for the moisture across northeastern parts of the state. Not so much tomorrow, but as a front comes down the area the, on Friday and then in the metro area, maybe a lingering shower, but a break for much of the day. But boy, we're going to be on alert for those scattered storms in the afternoon. Not everybody's going to get wet, but you know, we got some outdoor activities we want to get done with the balloon fiesta. So we'll drop into the 50s tonight. Those increasing showers and thunderstorms overnight. Uh, scattered tomorrow afternoon, a little less active of Friday afternoon. Saturday looks like we're back to partly sunny skies. We have temperatures in the 40s for the mass ascension, and those breezes in the afternoon shouldn't bother the morning ascension on Sunday. Let's hope it stays that way, but look at the cool down for the start of the upcoming work week, or Columbus Day, I guess, if you have the day off. As we